Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. So there is this guy called Boris Johnson. He supposedly, apparently, he's the Prime Minister of the UK. At least, that's what I've been told. Obviously, by now, we can clearly see that these presidents and leaders around the world are merely just puppets dancing to the tune of this global agenda and taking their orders from who knows what, probably the United Nations or one of these super elite people who think they control the world. Anyhow, Boris made a speech. Same old guff. We've heard it a thousand times now. I don't know. Something about roadmaps, jib-jab passports, carts before horses were mentioned a lot. Here's a good rendition of it. I found it on Twitter. Two of our roadmap. Reopening shops, gyms, zoos, holiday campsites, mountains, personal care services, the castle, like hairdressers, hey, and of course, beer gardens and outdoor hospitality of all kinds. What and on Monday the 12th, be, I will be going will to be the pub no myself more. and cautiously, but now irreversibly, raising a pint of beer to my lips. So, yeah, I can't take this seriously anymore. It's just nonsense. They wheel out the same media people to ask questions. It's all pre-planned. And note that when he was, when Boris was asked about passports for pubs, etc., he said, Oh no, you won't need them for Monday. We won't be using them for pubs. Not for stage two or stage three. And what, what happens after that then? What, you are going to use them for stage four and stage five or whatever? He said, oh, we, we don't want to put the cart before the horse. So basically he means they will be introducing them for pubs when it gets to stage four. But he doesn't want to say that now. He doesn't want to go into that now because if he did, the people listening would say, stuff this and won't comply with stage two and stage three. Just leading you like cattle. So no more. I've never seen so much pretense on such a grand scale, so much obvious deception. Have people lost their memories? How many times are, are these people going to change their stories, go back on their promises? You can't take this seriously anymore. It's a joke. There's no point listening to them anymore. It's all gobbledygook. You could glean more valuable information from a fish finger sandwich than watching this. Now, I see this tweet earlier, and I think this says it all. And this tweet here... Here it is. It says, keep calm. Everything they do and say is designed to wear you down and break your resistance. Don't watch their media or read any of their pronouncements or watch their press conferences. Just live your life as normally as you can. Civil disobedience will eventually break them. And I couldn't put it any better myself. There you go. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com. Slowly growing a community of like-minded souls who are not mainstream media-led zombies. They're not hypnotized by all of this guff. A network of people who can think independently. A community that isn't based on one of the big tech platforms. And is therefore more independent. I'll see you later.